Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be painting over the vinyl wallpaper here. Yeah, so there's vinyl wallpaper here, and there is a, a border up there. And the border is just one piece, and there's just glue be be behind it. Now, um, I always recommend to take down the wallpaper first, but if for some reason the homeowner or the uh, or, or 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 you don't have time, or it's going to cause more damage to other walls then just leave the wallpaper up um, and what you want to do is seal the walls first with uh, this primer here and this is the uh, guards primer and you can just put this right on top of the wallpaper here and it's basically it's a water-based glue that's going to uh, stick to the surface and then dry and then we can mud on top of it. Now um, so these walls have already been sealed with the uh, guards now um, and what you want to do first too is uh, is uh, is go around with the knife here to the uh, seams. If there, so these are the seams here. There, there's uh, five of them. There's one up here, two, three, four, five, and then we have the wallpaper seam all, all, up here. So I drew a horizontal line right below it. So we're going to have to fill that seam, and then we're going to have to fill these seams here. And if you could just get close there and see. The seam um, isn't that wide, but it's wide enough so that the eye can pick up on it if you were just to paint on, on top of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill those seams with the mud here. And, um, and, and th this, this vinyl paper, it's all glue, 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 glued down. It, uh, it hasn't peeled back in uh, any of the uh, places, but if for some reason it uh, did peel back. Like let's say that this seam here started to uh, peel back. All you would do is I would just draw like a, a football around that seam, um, and then just take my uh, knife here and just cut those areas out there. Um, so if the uh, paper has started to uh, to uh, to uh, unfurl or there's any parts where like it's loose there, you definitely want, just want to go around with your knife, cut those areas out first. Um, and then, and then, and then you can skim over them. So, um, and also, um, if you have any areas, um, where like there's holes in the wall, like there is a nail here. So I'm going to take this out here. And when you take it out, it's going to create like a little volcano of the surface here. So what you want to do is you want to use, um, the uh, corner of this blade right here and just gouge that in so now it's concave and then you can just go right over it with the uh, mud there okay um, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna grab my uh, my four inch blade and I have my six inch blade right here and I have all purpose regular joint compounds in uh, here so I'm just gonna grab just a uh, little bit here and I'm gonna reorganize it on this and I'm gonna turn the blade like that so that puts it into the middle of uh, that blade here so what we're going to do now is uh, is we're going to start in the uh, top right hand corner, and I'm going to put mud here to uh, to get rid of this edge here. So I'm going to come into it like that, and that's going to load up in the middle here, and then I'm going to transfer this up to the wall here. I'm going to put it right there and skim down, and come back into it. That loads up the middle there. Come into it, skim down, reorganize it like that, grab it like that, come into it skim down okay so I have it all, all all loaded up there and now I'm just gonna skim this off here and that gives it back there I'm gonna come back here reorganize that turn it counterclockwise that puts it into the middle there grab it from the side and come back up here and just go across with it again Now, this is going to need a, a few more coats because this mud is going to shrink when, when, when it dries here. Um, so I'm going to use my left hand and come back into what I did there. And that gives, gives me mud there. So I'm going to reorganize the mud on the blade here to a counterclockwise swipe that puts it to the middle there. And uh, to uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm skimming tight there, not to leave a, a line 
up here or down there because um, then you don't want to do that because then it just causes more sanding. So the more uh, careful and precise you put it on, on uh, this coat, then the uh, less um, sanding that you have to do in the future and it's, and it's less prep, prep work. So I'm just going to load up here again, here. Um, and I'm just going to continue to uh, bring this across here. Come to the corner. So I'm going to reorganize this on, on this blade. And then come back into it. And I'm just going to go across the top there. And that gives it get, get like that. So that border is done now. That has one coat. And again, this is going to shrink a little bit. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to attack these uh, seams here. Um, and so I have it in like the middle here. I'm going to turn it like that. That that puts it in the middle there. I'm going to load up like that. And we're going to skim the, this seam right 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 here. So I'm going to come here. Or go go down a bit. You see how it has expanded there. So I'm going to put it back to the middle there, come into it like that. this here that puts it there puts it in the middle there now it has expanded there so I'm going to clean this off and come into it skim the, uh, the uh, seams and again the, the joint compound in the seams is going to shrink so we're going to have to do these at, at least one or perhaps two two more times um, some of the gaps are wider than others so you'll have to do it at, at least two or perhaps even three times just to make sure that 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 it's smooth here um, and the same goes for the uh, top here um, so these are just some uh, tips and techniques to um, to apply to the wall paper so that when you paint on top of it, it doesn't look like you just painted on, on top of wallpaper here. So we're just going to let these dry here and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be back for the uh, second coat. 